so I thought I'd sneak on here and um, do a few whilst my delicious jacket potato is cooking. Not a euphemism. There is a jacket potato in the oven with my name on it. It's going to be good. Uh, the house is really cold, so I'm really looking forward to something hot. Um, this is going to be a review on the Sleek Pout Polishes. Now, this was requested absolutely ages ago. Um, I have no excuse for being this late. In fact, I don't even know if the person who requested it is still subscribed. Maybe they unsubscribed long ago, fed up with my complete lack of ability to fulfil requests in a timely manner. Um, hopefully not. Um, but this is a review on the Sleek Pout Polish. I have four out of six of these, and these are awesome. Really, really good. Um, I'm going to give you some swatches in a bit. I'm just going to grab some tissues before I forget. Um, first, I'm going to talk about Sleep Pulp Polish itself. Now, the packaging is pretty good. I actually do really like this. It's a really nice little flat tin. Uh, the lid fits on pretty well and it stays on. So, you can just chuck this into your handbag without thinking about it. It's slim line, good for travelling, good for just stuffing in there into a makeup bag, just for whenever you need it. Um, so I really like these. Obviously the downside is that um, it's a tin, so you will have to, I mean, you will have to dip your finger in it, you, or if you're a bit squeamish you'll need to carry a lip brush. Um, that doesn't really bother me so much. Um, I just dip my finger in, I'm not particularly squeamish about that kind of thing. So for me it's not a big issue, but for some people it might be a deal breaker. Now the ingredients in it um, are quite interesting. Um, this contains jojoba oil, um, shea butter, sweet almond oil, avocado oil, many many different kinds of oil, and then um, parabens. So it does contain parabens, so therefore, therefore, God. We're not writing an essay here. Um, if you're sensitive or you don't want to use things with parabens in, then you'd probably need to give these a miss. Um, that said, they are SPF 15, which is pretty good. Um, you always want your lips to be covered, so this is a nice way of doing it, which is really, really moisturising and has decent colour payoff. Um, so the ingredients, uh, such as shea butter, sweet almond oil, avocado oil, they appear at the end of quite a bit quite a long list of other and various chemicals. In fact, there is more fragrance in this than there is um, moisturising agents. So, hmm. Um, but it is um, a low-end product, so, you know, it's a pretty good moisturiser. In terms of pigmentation, I think these are pretty decent, actually. You can shear them out or you can build them up for more dramatic colour. So I'm going to give you the swatches of the ones that I have. I have four out of, I believe, seven in the range. Um, the first one I have is Perfect Plum, which looks like a funny brownie colour, but when you put it on the lips, it's really, really pretty. So that's Perfect Plum. This is my everyday colour, and it always stays in my handbag, just in case. And we've got Pink Cadillac, which is the first one I ever bought. Stumbled across these completely by accident, actually. Forgot my lipstick when I was going out one day and got one of these. Love it. Now we've got Electro Peach, which is a really bright orange. Looks different on the lips though, not as offensive. Then we've got one of the limited edition ones, and this is Raspberry Souffle, which is a purpley colour. But it comes out quite a bright pink. Okay, so in terms of pigmentation, you can see, I mean, that's pretty good and that's you can shear it out obviously or you can deepen it up and the good thing about these is that they do layer very well and also they layer over other products very well so if you wanted to wear it over a lipstick um, for a bit more moisturization you could it it's nice I'm not gonna say that it lasts very well though but it is a nice addition if you want to you know perk up a matte lipstick or you want to moisturise your lips. In terms of texture, they are non-sticky, non-greasy, um, really, really buttery, velvety kind of lip, um, I don't really know whether to call these lip gloss or um, lip balm, because they're a bit of both really, but they're really, really buttery, so that's a potential problem if you're going to dip your finger in, because you will 
often, I mean until you realise what you're doing, you'll get more product than you actually need because it's really easy to get way too much, they're so soft in the pot. Um, but they, when you apply them, they almost seem to melt onto the lips. Um, they don't feel like um, a traditional like, petroleum based lip balm at all. Um, they because they feel greasy. These don't feel greasy at all, they just feel kind of buttery and soft and non-sticky, which is a nice thing actually, because I I really like to use these over lipstick um, to complete my look. So using this instead of a gloss makes me happy because <laughs> they're not sticky. Um, but yeah, they give you a really nice kind of glossy white look finish and depending depending on how you wear them really. Um, in terms of wear, you're probably going to get about an hour not much more. Um, these are essentially a lip balm kind of product so they're very, although they're very soft and very buttery they're not going to last that long, they're not designed to. Um, they are really really moisturising on the lips however in the hour and although the colour's gone after the hour the moisturising properties still are still there and it still feels like your lips are moisturised. Um, a good thing to note is that um, if you've ever tried a MAC tinted lip conditioner, um, I used to have one in Popster from the Hello Kitty collection, these fade differently to the tinted lip conditioners. I always find that tinted lip conditioners give me that kind of um, tide mark around my lips, especially like in the corners and here, and as it fades it just kind of collects and that kind of, ooh, it's, it's disgusting. These don't do that, they just kind of really slowly disappear which is really really nice because I don't have to keep looking in the mirror and uh, paranoid that I've got that tide mark again. So for me I can just put these on, forget about them and feel like I am polished and ready and yeah they really just brighten up my face when you know I, I want to look natural and just you know pretty. Um, one thing which people may be put off by is the smell. Now it kind of smells like a musky vanilla slash a bounty bar, which is weird. It's kind of like um, an amalgamation of bounty and vanilla. And I admit, when I'm not feeling very well and I apply one of these, it makes me feel nauseous. Um, so those of you that are really sensitive to scents, the scent is particularly strong in these products. Stronger than anything that I've actually ever tried. And the thing is, is, I mean it does, the scent does dissipate fairly quickly and you can't smell it for that whole hour, but I think that the scent is really kind of cloying and a bit sweet. It's not the kind of vanilla cake batter scent that you get with MAC, which is quite nice and it goes away really quickly. This is a pretty pungent, quite strong um, coconutty vanilla scent, which I kind of find a bit nauseating. So that might be a deal breaker. Um, for me it's not because I love the product so much that I'm willing to kind of um, maybe feel a bit queasy for about two minutes whilst it goes away. Um, but price wise these are I think about £4, £3.99, £4, maybe they're less, um, maybe they're more. Um, but I am going to say that you get a hell of a lot of bang for your buck with these products. Um, I have had this particular one for ages. I use it pretty much every day. Just put it on when I'm going um, into town on the bus if I haven't got a lipstick on me and it lasts forever. You do get 10 grams of product and it, it is quite a lot of product actually. Um, in terms of comparison to MAC lip conditioner, tinted lip conditioner, well these are more pigmented, these are more buttery, nicer to apply, the packaging's better and um, all around you're getting a lot more value for money so I would say without a doubt I would buy these time after time over the MAC tinted lip conditioners. Um, so uh, to recap, um, really really moisturising, shea butter, avocado oil, jojoba oil, um, smell is really really strong of coconut and vanilla, um, really really buttery soft texture that melts into your lips, uh, in short awesome and I think everyone should have one. So I'm gonna leave you alone.